Well, City of Hamilton's former chief engineer who oversaw the Red Hill Valley Parkway for years underwent his fourth straight day of questioning regarding a safety report that warned of the road's dangerous conditions. Former Hamilton head engineer Gary Moore, who oversaw the operation of the Red Hill Valley Parkway, was asked by city and commission lawyers about his reluctance to share a safety report with city officials. The report was commissioned by Golder Associates in 2014, part of a six-year performance review of the highway after it opened in 2007. Moore, now retired, says he didn't share the report with city staff because he felt it was, quote, half done, and he had issues with certain details, primarily the report compares the highway's friction levels to UK standards. Canada doesn't have standards for friction. Moore says he reached out to Ludomir Uzarowski, who works for Golder, to clarify the friction data. But Moore says he never heard back from Uzarowski. He said, quote, Dr. Uzarowski was a busy guy. I had to remind him on a few occasions that things were outstanding when I needed them. Golder and Tradewinds also didn't show any urgency, so I didn't really follow up. Moore adds that he didn't recall receiving any safety concerns from Uzarowski, a statement contradicted by the engineer. He told the investigation last month that it was this city that showed no motivation on correcting his real concerns about the highway's safety. He told the inquiry in June he provided the city with, quote, recommendations, contractors, costs, anything I could do, the city decided not to follow. Moore told the inquiry that he saw Uzrowski's concerns as recommendations and not strictly as safety concerns that needed immediate attention. Moore adds that if concerns were extreme and needed action, quote, I'd expect we'd have a correspondence about something like that, an arranged meeting. Well, that report remained hidden until from municipal staff until 2019. In that time, four people were killed on the highway and hundreds of crashes occurred. Now, this entire inquiry is costing taxpayers $18 million.